Adding automatic follow-up to a mail merge helps us stay on top of opportunities and increase engagement from our recipients. In this lesson, we'll learn how to add and schedule automatic follow-up emails to mail merges. If you need help adding recipients from your pipelines or a CSV file and creating the original message, check out the previous lesson. Once you've set up your first message, you can schedule automatic follow-up messages to your recipients if you don't get a reply from them. To get started, switch to the Messages tab in the Mail Merge panel and click Add Follow-up. This will open a new Compose window where you can draft the follow-up message. You'll notice the subject line is already filled out. That's because follow-up messages are sent on the same email thread with the same subject line. In order to keep the follow-up messages on that same email thread, you aren't able to change the subject line. Write your message just like a normal email draft, including any variables you'd like to add for personalization. Check out the previous lesson to learn how to add variables from your pipelines or CSV files. Next, choose the amount of time between emails in the Messages tab. This is the number of days that Streak will wait for a reply from your recipients before sending a follow-up message. You can also choose whether you want to include weekends and holidays or only business days, which are Monday through Friday, except for North American holidays. Finally, you can choose what time to send the follow-up message. The options are in 15-minute intervals, which means your message will be sent within that window of time. They're also sent in your time zone, which you can confirm in the menu options. You can continue adding messages with varying delays as needed until you're happy with your entire follow-up sequence. Remember that as soon as a recipient responds to a message, the rest of the sequence will be paused so you can follow up individually with them and address their response. Once you're happy with the mail merge, you can send it now or schedule a time to send it later. This will also be in your time zone. In the next lesson, we'll see how our mail merges are performing and learn how to manage existing mail merges.